A thorough evaluation of the proposed Line 3 replacement project is underway. In the coming months, area Native American tribal bands will weigh in on the oil pipeline that may come through their reservations. Leech Lake members met to discuss their concerns today. Mel Meyer reports. This community, you know, has to be heard. While the proposed route would not come through Cass Lake, the current line running through the Leech Lake Reservation will have to be deactivated. This route could change, however, through the environmental review process. 760,000 barrels a day, that's what they're trying to send away, just in case anybody wants to know. Tar sands, tar sands. Organizers hope that people use the meetings to get a better understanding of what the pipeline could mean for the area. We just want to make sure the community is empowered and that they have all the information they need to make a, you know, solid statements as to what they want for their community. Attendees were able to ask questions about the process. Has there been any legislative activity at the state level that has been conducted? And expressed the need to get others involved in the meetings. I think we need to get busloads of people to these three hearings coming up. That many or more. Formal meetings to be held in Cass Lake, Ball Club, and Bina will be gathered for tribal record. They will also be submitted for the environmental impact statement. So tonight is get the information, ponder your thoughts, you know, write a statement, and then you're going to make it in February. Leech Lake and other area tribes have previously stated their opposition to the pipeline. In Cass Lake, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. Tribal members will meet again on February 1st for a public hearing about the project. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.